Hey, what's up YouTube land? Elric Ferris. Welcome back once again to the YouTube channel here on motherboards.org or welcome back to the motherboards.org YouTube channel, however that works out. But anyways, today is launch day for the 69 series from our friends at AMD. And we've got the XFX 6950 for you to check out here on launch date. So this is also part of the new Cayman series of cards. And AMD says that this is really not their fastest series of cards that's going to be released. They say that in mid-January, they're going to have their Antilles series of cards. Now, this will probably be the new dual GPU card, which will probably take the crown over the GTX 580. But for now, there's the 6970 and the 6950 here on launch date. So follow along as we check out the new XFX HD 6950, whether it's worth your money, how fast it is, and if at the end of the day, should you buy this card? Okay, the new AMD Radeon 69 series features a dual graphic engine and the new VLI W4 core architecture, which you can see illustrated here. It also has a fast 256-bit GDDR5 memory interface. AMD has busted out some new features here, which is the Enhanced Quality Anti-Aliasing, or EQAA, and there's three types supported. Adaptive Anti-Aliasing, Super Sample Anti-Aliasing, and the new Morphological Anti-Aliasing features. You also get the new AMD PowerTune technology. Now, what this does is this either increases your performance by 20% or decreases your performance by 20%, whether you're in gaming or non-gaming mode. This is pretty cool because it actually can make your computer save energy when you're not in gaming mode. The card also features fifth generation vapor cooling. Now, what the vapor cooling does is it helps get all of the heat away from the GPU. Now, for efficiency and acoustics, this makes the card run cool and also keeps it from being very loud in your PC. For those of you guys into the iFinity technology, this card supports up to six monitors out of one card. Here in this illustration, you can see how this is done. Okay, so here we go on to the features of the new HD 6950. It's got a core clock speed of 800 megahertz. It's got stream processors 22 SAMD, text units are 88. With a frame buffer, once again, it's two gigabytes of GDDR5. The memory width is also, once again, a 256-bit memory interface. The power tune maximum limit is 200 watts. The typical gaming power when gaming is 140 watts, and idle power is 20 watts. This card requires just a six-pin and a six-pin power connector, and it also features two DVI, two mini display ports, and an HDMI connector. So check it out, the scores are in. You can see from the performance that this card scores a little bit slightly slower than the GTX 570. Now this card's also a little bit less. The GTX 570 is about $350. This card is gonna come into market about $320. So at the end of the day, the 6950 is the slower of the two new cards on release day, but it's a very nice card indeed. It kind of has a niche all its own. So I give it a nice hot product award here on motherboards.org on launch date of the new Radeon HD 6950.